Welcome to the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, part three, we're going to learn about printing breakdown sheets. Now, in Gorilla, let's go ahead and select our schedule, and from the Gorilla toolbar, select our breakdown sheets button, and it's going to take us directly to our breakdown sheets screen. Now, there are two ways to print breakdown sheets. The first way is an industry standard breakdown sheet with boxes. And this is the old style way that they used to print out these sheets and then hand write in all the elements in these little boxes. The second way is a much more modern way, which allows you to print out breakdown sheets in a report-like format. And I'm going to show you both ways right now. Now, from the breakdown sheet, breakdown pull-down menu, go ahead and select the show printable breakdown sheet option. And this is going to take you to a screen where you could see all your breakdown sheets in these boxes. And of course, these boxes mimic the categories that are on your breakdown sheet. So let's take a look, quick look at this particular breakdown sheet. We've got our cast members here in the first box, right here, Barney and Amanda. We have our one vehicle element here. And we have our props here in this box right over here. Now, the props exceed the limitation. So if you look at the breakdown sheet, we're going to see a whole bunch of props here. And this box is not going to show all those props because of the limitation of that box. But if we go down to the footer of the breakdown sheet, we're going to notice it says page one of two. So if we go to the second page of the breakdown sheet, notice that it shows us the remaining props for that particular category, and we are now on page two of two of this particular breakdown sheet. Now, this is the way breakdown sheets used to be printed or used to be handwritten in terms of these boxes. And if there was nothing scheduled or nothing scheduled for makeup or costumes or any of these other categories, they would remain empty. So let's move on. I want to show you something else. Let's go back to page one of this breakdown sheet. Now, if you look at this breakdown sheet, notice that there's an element here with a very long element name. And if we look on the corresponding breakdown sheet, we're going to notice that that name is cut off. And that's, of course, because of the limitation of the size of the box. Now, there are two ways to remedy this. The first way is to go into our element manager right over here. And I'm going to show this in another lesson, but you can go into our element manager and change the name to a shorter name so that it'll fit in that box. But the other way, if you are adamant about keeping the, the long name, is to select a different breakdown layout. Now, if we look over here, we're going to see a whole bunch of different layouts that we can choose from. The very first option is what we are using right now. If we select a breakdown layout with a different size box for props, like for example, this one right here, Notice that if I select that layout, the props box doubles in length size, and the element name fits quite nicely in that box. So that's one way that you can accommodate longer names is by choosing a different breakdown layout. The next thing I want to show you is how to consolidate elements in terms of choosing a different breakdown layout for the number of pages that you are going to print. And let me show you how that works. Let me go ahead and select a scene that has a lot of elements. So I'm going to select scene 11. And what I did here is I added a whole bunch of vehicles to this particular breakdown sheet, scene 11. If I go to the corresponding breakdown sheet here, and I can go do that by clicking on scene 11, here in the navigator, notice now, of course, I'm on scene 11, that the vehicles are very, very limited in terms of what you can see here. And of course, if you go down to the footer, you will see that the uh, page count is one of four, which means that if I go to the next page, I'm going to see the next set of vehicles, page two of four, and then three of four, and then lastly, four of four. So I need four pages to print out scene 11 when all I really have here is a whole bunch of vehicles and all this wasted space. Now, we can do something about that. 
let's go ahead and use a different layout for this particular breakdown sheet. Now, I'm going to select this one here. As you can see, the three top boxes are quite long. I'm mean, not long, but uh, uh, quite high. And we can add more, more elements will be visible on these particular boxes. So let's go ahead and select this particular layout. And now notice, I have a little bit more here. Actually, vehicles popped in uh, to this particular box. But I have a box up here called extras, which I'm not using. It's completely empty. So what we can do is we can swap these boxes. And how you do that is you click on the box that you want to change the category. And go ahead and select the category for that particular box. I'm going to select the vehicles category. And notice that all my vehicles now appear in this top box. Of course, we don't want them doubled, so we're going to change the category for this box. And we might as well set it to extras because we're not using it. And now we have, if you go down to the page count on the bottom, notice it says page one of one, which now we have one breakdown sheet that shows us, shows us all the vehicles that we need for this scene. We used to have four. So that's a nice way to consolidate four breakdown sheets to one printable breakdown sheet. Okay, now in order to print this breakdown sheet, what you need to do is go to the print button up here, and let's go ahead and select that button. And there's a few options here I want to point out before we actually print this breakdown sheet. First of all, you have two options. You can print this sheet only, which is scene 11, and that will print out only one page, or you can select all sheets for schedule. Now, if you have a very long screenplay or uh, a whole bunch of scenes and a whole bunch of elements, of course, that's going to be a lot to print. So be wary when you choose or if you choose this particular option. The other thing I want to point out to you is you have this option here that says print category names in black and white, which allows you to print these category names as opposed to color in black and white, which is a, an important feature because if you're printing on a black and white laser printer, these col a color text doesn't come out nicely. Like a very light colored text like this or, or yellow will print out in a very light gray, and you don't want that. So you can select this option to print your category names in black and white. And another thing that I want to point out to you, it says this report uh, prints only in U.S. letter. So don't print this report on the legal size paper. Um, if you are going to print using A4 paper size, which is the European standard, you want to select this box. Actually, normally this box is unselected. It's not selected. But if you are going to use the A4 or you want to scale your breakdown sheets, you want to select this option before you print, and what will happen is it will display the page setup for Macintosh or the print setup for Windows dialog box where you can select A4. Remember, by default, this particular report is U.S. letter. Other reports, you can select the page setup on the print dialog, which I will, in the reports, which I'll show you in a, in a few minutes. But what you can do now is not only to select the paper size, but you need to use scaling if you are going to be using A4 only on this report. So I'm going to say, let's say, 92%. I'm not sure exactly if that's going to work, but click OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to scale, shorten up our report just a little bit because the A4 size is a little bit different in terms of uh, the US letter size. You can modify that if you want. And then of course, you could print this particular report. Now, this is one way to print breakdown sheets. Now, there are the limitations, like I pointed out, in terms of how many uh, elements you could put on a, on a box and also the length. And the other um, limitation, which is also pretty important, let's go back to print, is that you can only print five sheets per breakdown sheet. Now, that means that let's say I'm using this particular layout. Now, I've got maybe 15 or so elements available on this particular box. So multiply 15 by 5, which is about 75. So for this particular layout, I can only print out 75 elements per breakdown sheet. Now, that might be plenty for what you are doing for your project. But if you're doing 100 or 200 elements, you certainly don't want to use these breakdown sheet boxes 
not just because of that limitation, but what a waste of space. I mean, you could just imagine how much paper you're going to be printing out with so much empty room uh, in terms of these uh, breakdown sheet reports. So the other way to print out the breakdown sheets, and I'm going to close this window, is to go to the File pull-down menu and then select the Print option. And this is where you go and print not just this particular report, but all guerrilla scheduling reports. Now, if you'll see here, here are the breakdown sheet boxes report. That's the same report that we were just showing you. If you were to select print or preview right here, it would take you to that breakdown sheet boxes screen where you can modify those reports. Now here, notice that there's a breakdown sheet summary report. Now this is going to print all the breakdown sheets, but in a report-like format, which is a lot more modern. It's going to save you a lot more paper. So if you go ahead and click either the preview or the print button and select the phase, let's take a look at this report. Um, notice here that you've got your scene numbers, and notice, of course, that you have more than one scene on one page. In this particular instance, we have scene one, scene two, and even partially scene three on this particular page. So it's all automatically already saving you a lot of room. Of course, you have your cast members, your props, uh, and all your elements here. And notice also that there is no limitation in terms of length. Uh, of the name of the prop. Here's a, a very, you can see you have a whole line here to enter the, uh, the element name. So you're not limited by that at all. So it's up to you whether or not you want to print your breakdown sheets in the standard industry format, which of course is limited, or in this format. Uh, in either way, will work just fine. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.